Hey guys, so I obviously already did the nair just so you guys know why I'm all oily. So just a quick disclaimer, I'm not a professional. Um, do this at your own risk. Um, I do suggest, and I will say this a million times, to please do a patch test on the part of your face or any part that you're going to be using the nair on it always says in the back to do a patch test within 24 hours um, if you can do it for 48 hours best thing you could ever do because if you burn your skin you know it's not really <laughs> something you want to do this nair that I'm using is specifically for your face, it's not the nair for your body. This is specifically to remove your, fa your face hair or your facial hair for upper lip, chin, and face. So this is for specifically for that. So that is, I think, all I have to say for the warning. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and nair our face. Okay, so that just outlined my eyebrows to the most even I could get them. This is my first time using Nair. So I did a patch test on Sunday. Today is Tuesday. So I was an allergic, obviously. So I'm actually going to be using like um, one of these to just kind of, you know, outline like if it was concealer. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna grab my Nair, put a little bit. Oh, that's way too much, but just put a little bit, about that much. And I'm gonna start at the top. Oh my god, this is so scary. <laughs> okay, let's just start right here. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but I am going very slow, taking my time with a decent amount of product. Um, the box says to do a thick layer, but I think it's your own preference and how your skin is reacting to it. Everybody has different skin types, so obviously it's going to react differently with different people. So um, be very careful with a very light hand and take your time um, and pay attention to what you're doing most importantly because it is a hair remover product. You don't want to get it in your eye. You don't want to get any hairs that you don't want removed. Um, so be very careful. So since I am doing this for the first time, I decided to work in sections when I moved down to the bottom part of my eyebrow. So I grabbed a very small amount of product and um, put it at the tip of the um, brush and just worked in sections because it is closer to my eyelashes and I do not want to end up with no eyelashes because that would be a disaster. We all know that. So be very careful i cannot stress enough how careful you should be with this because it is a hair remover product keep in mind what you're doing <laughs> okay so it says to leave this for maximum 10 minutes the last time i did a patch test on my upper lip yeah, I left it on for five minutes and it didn't really do anything so I'm gonna leave this for 10 minutes just because it's thicker hair I don't know if you guys can see but I had a lot of hair I'm, I was growing out my eyebrows specifically for this so in my last video where I said I need to do my eyebrows this is what I grew them out for for a video for you guys so I'm gonna put 10 minutes on the clock I have two more minutes so a little update Kinda smells like perm solution. You know when you perm your hair, that's what it reminds me of. You can tell like something is happening, like my skin is like a little bit like tingly. Kinda feels like a tiny bit, like a little bit of tiny bit, like the least tiny bit of um, like burning sensation, like something's happening, like you know. To wipe up the product, you can either use a wet warm paper towel or a wet warm washcloth, which I used in this video. In my opinion, I think the washcloth works best, but it's all up to you. So I'm gonna wipe it off. Um, oh my god. Yeah, the hair is coming off. This is what it did to my eyebrow. I'm not, I mean it worked. It did work. 
this right here this like gap that happened when i went to the freaking the threading lady and she left them so thin that i was like oh my god <laughs> and i haven't been able to grow it out so that's why i have trust issues with those ladies so to avoid any breakouts or irritation, I'm going to be using this sweet olive oil. Um, if you have aloe vera oil, that would be like the best to use after um, narrowing your eyebrows. I just didn't have any at the moment, but this worked really good for me. I got this at um, my local Mexican store. So you can go to your Mexican store or the um, flea market or wherever they sell Mexican stuff at and get yourself some if you want to use the same thing as I did. But this is my result from narrowing my eyebrows. I'm shooken. Let me know what you think down below. I am excited because no more threading, no more waxing. <laughs> so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was helpful and I will see you guys in my next video.